Today, I will be discussing about models of Ubi. So, let's see, first of all, the introduction of the models of organizational behavior. Organizational behavior reflects the behavior of the people and management all together. So, organizational behavior actually reflects the behavior of both people as well as management. Organizational behavior is used to solve organizational problems, especially those related to human beings. There are basically five different types of models in organizational behavior. First, autocratic model. Second, custodial model. Third, supportive model. Fourth, collegial model. And last one, system model. So let's see brief idea about these five different models one by one. So let's start with the first one autocratic model. Figure itself indicate about the autocratic model. Autocratic model depends upon strength, power and formal authority. So basically this model actually based on strength, power and formal authority. The employees in this model are oriented towards obedience and discipline. They are dependent on their boss completely. In an autocratic model or you can see in an autocratic organization, the people means management or owners who manage the task in an organization have formal authority over controlling the employees who work under them. So it is very simple in autocratic model management or you can say owners who manages the task in an organization completely and having formal authority for controlling the employees. These lower level employees have little control over work function. So here you can see these lower level employees have little control over work function. That means in autocratic model, everything that is lead by the management or owner. This model was common in factories in the industrial revolution era. It is suitable for highly automated factory. The employee requirement is subsistence. Now what do you mean by subsistence? So see here. Subsistence refers for supporting oneself, especially at a minimum level. So this model is basically used for the new startup or new business. And the employee requirement is actually subsistence. That means in autocratic model, employees having support at minimum level means the minimum income needed to survive. Now drawbacks of autocratic model. This both figure represent as an autocratic model in the form. People are easily frustrated here you can see and unsecured in the organization. Minimum performance from the employees because they are actually dependent on superiors completely. Their ideas and innovations are not generally welcome as the key decisions are made at the top management level. From this figure you can understand their ideas and innovations are not generally welcome by the owner or the management because the key decisions are made actually at the top management level only. Now the Second model, custodial model. It is based around the concept of providing economic security for employees through wages and other benefits. So this custodial model that is actually based on economic security for employees. So it will create employee loyalty and motivation. In some countries, Many professional companies provide health benefits 
corporate cards, financial packaging of salary and so on. So these all parameters are actually considered as economic security for employees and that you can see in custodial model. These are incentives designed to attract and retain quality staff. So if you provide like this economic security for employees then definitely you can attract and retain the quality staff. The very interesting point of this model is that they will have a greater skill workforce, more motivated employees and have a competitive advantage through employee knowledge and expertise. This model is adapted by firms having high resources. The employee requirement that is met is security. So here this model is actually based on economic security. So this is the special parameter based on that custodial model is designed. And this type of the model is generally adopted by the firms having high resources. That means you can say it can be for the medium to large scale industry. Now next. Examples of custodial model Garments factor because it is based on the economical resource. Here laborers perform their job for money, security and benefit. If an organization do well then definitely employee get the better benefit. Now drawbacks of the custodial model It also attracts and retains low performance staff because of this model is based on the economic security for the employees. They give passive cooperation as they are satisfied but not strongly encouraged. So this is a very important point in custodial model. The employees give passive cooperation because they are satisfied with their economic security provided by the company but not strongly encouraged. Now the third one supportive model. The supportive model is focused around aspiring leadership. It is not based upon control and authority like we have discussed in autocratic model or upon incentive like we have discussed in custodial model. But Instead of that, tries to motivate staff through manager-employee relationship and how employees are treated on a day-to-day -day basis. So supportive model having aspiring leadership means in this model, the manager motivate staff through manager-employee relationship. In this model, employees are self-motivated to contribute for the organization beyond just their day-to-day -day role. So always in supporting model, employees are actually self-motivated to contribute any way for the organization. The intent of this model is to motivate employees through a positive workplace where their ideas are encouraged and often adopted also. It gives a climate to help growth of employees. Management job is to assist the employee's job performance. So in supportive model, the role of the management is to assist the employee's job performance. Hence, employees feel a sense of participation. The employee requirement that is met is status and recognition. So, especially in supportive model, the employee requirement that is met is status and recognition. Next, fourth one, collegial model. The collegial model is based around teamwork, means everybody working as colleagues, hence the name of the model. So, here you know that in collegial model, every team member are actually working as colleagues 
that's why it is called as collegial model the overall environment and corporate culture need to be aligned to this model where everybody is actively participating so this is now essential that overall environment and corporate culture need to be aligned to this model it is not about status and job titles but everybody is encouraged to work together to build a better organization that is called as actually team work role of manager is to foster team work and create positive workplaces in short the manager can be considered to be the coach of the team and as a coach the goal is to make the team perform well overall rather than focus on their own performance or the performance of key individual so in short you can say in collegial model the role of manager is to make the team perform well rather than focus on their own performance or the performance of key individuals that means not focus on the one or two key members the collegial model is quite effective in organizations where need to find new approaches like marketing teams research and development in technology or software etc the employee requirement that is met is self actualization so in collegial model the employee requirement that is met is self actualization now the last one system model the final organization model is referred to as the system model this is the most present or you can say modern model of the five models of organization behavior in the system model the organization looks at the overall structure and team environment and considers that individuals have different goals talents and potential the intent of this system model is to try and balance the goals of the individual with the goals of the organization so this is very important point to understand the system model once again look at this one the intent of the system model is to try and balance the goals of the individuals with the goals of the organization so that is actually the synchronization between the goal of individual as well as the goals of the organization individuals obviously want good remuneration job security but also want to work in a positive work environment where the organization adds value to the community and or its customers so every employees wants good remuneration job security etc but in system model they want to work in a positive work environment where the organization adds value to the community and or its customers the system of model should be an overall partnership of managers and employees with a common goal and where everybody feels that they have a stake in the organization so this is actually the special feeling in the organization in case of system model now at last comparison of organization models that so far we have discussed so here you can see five different models now we are going to compare one by one so here you can see basic of model so in autocracy there is a power in custodial model based on economic resource supportive model is based on the leadership collegial model is based on the partnership or you can say team work and at last in system model based on trust community and understanding next point managerial orientation in autocracy model based on authority custodial model based on money supporting model based on support that's why it is called as supporting model 
So support from each and every member of the team. In collegial model, based on the teamwork. System model, based on caring, compassion. Next third point, employee orientation. In autocracy model, employee orientation is obedience. In custodial model, security benefit. And in supporting model, employee orientation is performance. Collegial model, employee orientation is responsible. And in system model, employee orientation is psychological ownership. Next one. Employee psychological result. You can understand in autocracy model. Depends on boss. In custodial model, it depends on organization. In supporting model, depend on partnership. Collegial model depends on self discipline. In system model, employee psychological result is depend on self motivation. Next, employee needs met. So what is exactly the needs of employee that will be met? So in autocracy model is the subsistence. In custodial model is security. In supporting model, status and recognition. Collegial model, actualization. And at last in system model, wide range. Next point, performance result. So very simple, you can understand in autocracy model, the performance is minimum or you can say lowest because of in autocracy model we have discussed everything that is actually lead by the manager or the owner. In custodial model there is a passive cooperation from the employee. In supportive model awaken drives, collegial model enthusiasm and moderate and in system model there is a passion commitment to the goals to improve the performance. Last one. Example. Autocracy model is actually adapted in defense sector. Custodial model is adapted in garments factory. Supportive model is generally in software form. Collegial model is actually in social organization. And system model is adapted in some of the corporate forms. If you have any question then write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.